Yogaya Postnatal Routine Rebirthing the Self. This routine is especially designed for moms who had a C-section. Make sure you practice only six weeks after you had your delivery. And if you experience any discomfort or any pain while practicing, stop immediately and consult with your doctor. We all heal differently. So some may need more than six weeks for the wound to seal back. So make sure that you feel comfortable enough to practice. Or if you like some practices that are easy for you, just take those and then in a couple of weeks, you'll be able to do the whole routine. So we will focus on toning the abs, uh, of course, balancing our hormones after our postpartum period, and also on creating a sense of gratitude for the whole birthing experience. And most importantly, many of us will have difficulties and frustration with our body image or won't know how to deal with situations that arise. Uh, and this is normal and it's part of the discovery of motherhood. And all we need to do is just listen, listen more and connect to the baby, to its needs and sometimes follow its lead and, and see how things unfold for us. And like I said, we're all different. So we have to honor the whole process and team up with the baby and uh, cherish every moment. Um, so we'll start with a very brief tuning and meditation in child's pose. Make sure you take a child's pose that is comfortable for you so you can open your knees to the outer edges of the mat. Release your forearms down, drop your seat into your heels. If your seat doesn't reach the heels, you can be here in polar bear pose or puppy pose relaxing the head and releasing your forearms down. Make sure just the shoulders are moved away from the ears and that you're comfortable or drop your hips all the way down. Walk the hands a little closer. Bend your elbows, bring your hands into prayer and move your thumbs all the way down your cervical spine to point to your heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in from the sacrum. Allow every cell to receive the breath. And as you exhale, drop your pelvis further down into your heels. Inhale, expand outwards and exhale, anchor deeper. Inhale. As you plug your third eye into the earth, allow your intuition to open and your spirit to expand outwards. Keep on breathing, inhaling and exhaling, recharging the whole body with light and replenishing every cell. Observing the thoughts as they come and go. Taking this moment to appreciate everything that you have gone through. The whole experience of birth whether it was as you planned or not, was beautiful and right for you. Take a moment to accept this now and feel as you birthed your baby, you rebirthed your entire self. You rebooted your entire body, all the organs, all the cells, all the glands, the entire system recharged as you connected to the energy of divine motherhood. Take one more breath, releasing fully 
And as you exhale, bring your hands into the mat. Lift your head off the floor. Come onto all fours. Inhale, arch your spine from the mid back. And as you exhale, press the right top of the foot into the floor. Lift your right buck cheek and press your hands and then gently lift your left knee. So your right foot is pressing against the floor. And then drop the right knee, inhale. Exhale, scoop the belly in. Gaze at your navel. Inhale, arch. Exhale, scoop the belly in. We're gonna do the same hover on the other side. Inhale, press to your left, top of the foot, lift your left knee off the floor, press to the right top of the foot, and lift just for a moment. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Send your hips back to your heels. Reach your arms over the head, interlace your fingers. Press the palms away. And tip your pelvis to the left as you twist to the right. Exhale. Pulled inhale, lift. Tip your pelvis to the right, twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the back of your head. Curl and lift your pelvis just a notch off your knees and heels. And inhale, open. Arch your spine, we'll do it one more time. So we're not lifting all the way up. We're just lifting the hips slightly off the heels while contracting, toning our quads. And inhale, open up. And one more time, exhale. Contract, inhale, drop your hands back into the floor, open up. Exhale, this time curl your right foot under. Plant your right foot so the heel moves into the inner edge of your left foot. Walk your hands in the diagonal. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bend the elbows. And inhale, lift. And exhale, bend the elbows, sit on your heel. Press the hands into your knees. Exhale, lift up, contract, and try to move your head in the direction of your shin. Bend your elbows. And back. One more time. Exhale, contract, move your head to your shin. And release, walk your hands to the top edge of the mat. Extend your right leg outside, away from the right edge of the mat. Curl your left foot under. Press up and back into down dog and at the same time, flex your right heel. As you have this, bend your right knee, plant your right foot. Twist your hips to the right and stretch. Inhale, forward. And exhale, plant the foot. You're in a side lunge. Good, now walk your hands to the top of your mat. Bend your right knee, shift into a plank side lunge. Drop your right knee down, bend it a little bit, and go all the way down. Good, and we're gonna lift up. Inhale, engaging the core. Exhale, flex your foot. One more time, 
forward, slowly. Core work here. Good. Drop the left knee all the way down. Rest your ear into the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Flex your right foot. Plant the right foot back into the floor. Walk the hands so that they move in line with your right foot and reach your right arm to grab your left thigh. Bend your right knee. Either stay here or find the middle and grab the right knee with the left hand. Breathe here. One more breath. Beautiful, walk the hands to the top of the mat. Again, plant. Now, peel your right foot off the floor just for a moment. Hover here and lower down. Lower through the side of your hip. Bend your left knee and come up to sit. Walk the right heel to the outside of your left thigh. Work towards dropping your right sits bone. And once you have that, sweep your left arm up and over the head. Opening here. Breathe, shoulders away from the ears. Slowly. Take your left hand to your right knee. Twist your gaze to the back. Exhale, stretch your hip. Blanket your thigh with your torso. One more breath. Swing the left arm and the right arm. Lift here. Moving the pelvis up. Shifting your whole weight to the right side. And then clasping your left elbow. Exhale, drop your forehead down into the elbow crease and stay here. You should feel a wonderful calf stretch, shoulder stretch and an abs toning action. One more breath, plant your right hand. Now, step your left foot to your right, opening the feet out into a V with the heels connected. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand to the left knee. Splay the knees open. As you do that, hug your shoulders and drop your elbows down. Sit as low as you can. If you're in this position, you're going to take a flat back if this is a little too much for you. If you can go a little bit deeper, stretch the spine, take a little twist to the right. And center and to the left. And center, straighten your legs out. Bring the hands to cup the floor, dial the feet in. Bend the knees. Gently round up. Bring your hands to your sacrum. Exhale, contract. Move your nose to your knees. Bend. And inhale, expand. Support your lower back. Just a gentle back bend here. Exhale, contract. This time, interlace opposite elbows. Open them and lift them just a little bit. Sit lower. One more breath. Straighten your knee, flat back, inhale, hands into prayer. Interlace your fingers, 
push the floor away, bend your knees. Contract. And hands to the top of the mat, bend your knees. Left foot followed by the right, downward facing dog. Shift forward into a plank. Drop your knees down. Bend your elbows. Exhale all the way to Chaturanga. Now flex your feet into a worm and bring the chest into the floor. Breathe here. And one more breath. Extend the legs long. Open your arms and legs into a starfish. Twist your gaze to the right. As you move your left arm and clasp the right hand, gently twist to the side and exhale. Side bend, healing your belly. Come back to the center, re-expand. Exhale, rest for a moment. Press the hands. Release. Inhale. Starfish expands again. Clasp the other way. Once you have the clasp, gently twist to the side. Keep your feet flexed. Bringing more blood to your belly to seal back the muscles and come back to the center. Inhale. Gentle lift. Exhale, child's pose again. Shift your weight left and right. Lift all the way up into a camel. Inhale the arms. Pull the right elbow down. Contract the lower abdomen. Inhale, hands support the back of your head. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, sit on your heels. Bring the hands into the floor. Shoot your weight out. Curl the left foot under. Plant your left foot down. Walk your hands to your knees. And now as you lift, exhale, move your head into your shin. Bury it deep, deep, deep down. And inhale, re-expand. Make sure you're stretching the left Achilles. And exhale, contract. Twist, twist, twist. And lower down. Walk your hands forward. Carry your left leg to the side. Plant the foot firmly into the floor. Bend the left knee. Walk your hands forward. Curl the right foot under. Lift up into down dog with your foot flexed. Breathe here. Now, either stay here in plank, lunge, or walk your hands in line with your left foot. Clasp your right thigh with the left hand. This is one part of the exercise. Or if you want to go all the way, reach for the left knee with the right hand. Bend your left knee. Feel the oppositional stretch. Or stay here. Whatever you chose, honor your body's edge. And now walk the hands forward. Take plan. Exhale, right knee bends. Uncurl the right foot all the way down, bending the elbows. Take a moment to rest here. Inhale, lift up. 
chest, curl the back foot under, exhale, flex the front foot. If the flexing action is too much, you can keep your left knee bend into the lunge. One more time, there we go. Forward, right knee, bending the elbows, lowering onto the right side of the body, gazing up into the ceiling, recouping and lifting back up and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Bend your right knee, come up to a seated position, ground through the left sit bow. Reach the right arm up, plant your left hand behind you, and twist here. Breathing, expanding. One more breath, exhale. As you lift your left sit bone, hug your left knee, twist your gaze, and interlace opposite elbows, gazing to the back edge of your mat. Twisting here. One more breath. And face front. Plant your hands towards the front edge of the mat. Plant your left foot. Lift your pelvic floor. Grab your right elbow with the left hand and see if you can move the hips back. Breathing here. And one more breath. Contracting, stretching the upper arms. Stretching the hamstring and the calf, the IT band. Left hand plants down, lift the pelvic floor. Step your feet so that they dial out, heels connect. Bring your right hand to your left knee, your left hand into the right. Bend the knees, lower down. You can hug your shoulders and point the elbows down. If you're a little higher, contract your lower belly. There we go, inhale, breathe. And one more. Good, lift. Take a moment for a break. Now re-bend your knees again, and we'll do that little contraction and twist to the left. And center, straighten your knees to rest your legs flat back. And contract to the right. And come back. All the way, rolling up. Dial the feet back in. Press the hands. From the inside, bend the elbows. Point your fingertips to your heart. Open up the mudra. Cup the energy from the sky. And stroke your face. Exhale, let go. And roll down, bend your knees. Breathe here. Extend your left leg and your right leg. Forward plank. Bend the knees again. Flex the feet. Lift the heels up, up, up. Going through an elbow bending action of Chaturanga. Hold here. And all the way down. Now lift your feet up. Bend your knees, tip to the left. Exhale your right knee to your right elbow. You're on the floor and go back, inhale, rest. Exhale, extend your arms sideways. 
Gently rock your pelvis. Replant the hands, fingertips pointing to the front edge of the mat. Lift up, peel your shoulders open. Lift your feet off the ground, drop the legs and shins to the side. Exhale, engage your core, move your knee to your elbow. Point the feet and then flex them and see how you feel comfortable, whether with pointed or flexed, engaging the top of the foot or at the back of the Achilles and all the way. Lift up, halfway, forearms into sphinx, elbows over the shoulders, press the hands into the floor. Exhale, lift your belly, and inhale, feel the chest. One more time, exhale, belly lift, this time cross your ankles. Hold here, press the hands into the floor. And all the way down. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Lift up into cobra and back into child's pose. Walking the hands to the knees. Inhale the arms to the sides. Exhale, contract, stay here. Hollow your belly out. Inhale, bring the triangle into your third eye. Opening your intuition in this moment and knowing that everything will unfold in the right way. Contract. Gaze at your navel. Inhale. Open. And last time, contract. Open the arms to the side. Tip to your left. Drop the hips down. Carry your legs front. Extend the legs. Walk the hands with the fingertips pointing to the outside edge of the mat. Your thumbs in line with your pinkies. See if you can bring your wrists underneath your shoulders and gently as you flex the feet lift your pelvic floor it's a very minute action and point the feet inhale expand flex the feet lift up and inhale point slide your hips to your heels Bring your left forearm under the left knee crease, your left hand into the right knee. Hook the top of the foot into the calf. Flex your right foot, reach your left arm back, or with your left hand, pull your ear and twist, or just keep the arm extended. Hold it here. Extend the right leg now. More through the knee, yogi toe lock the foot or just hold the leg. If you feel you're warm enough, you can open the chest or just hold the leg. Breathe here. Readjust. Undo the legs, point them front, other side, other leg. Flexing. Threading your forearm under the knee crease, planting your hand into the knee, gently supporting your calf with the top of the foot and twisting your arm back. Or holding the side of your neck and twisting your gaze back. If you wish, extend your leg, move your arm forward, or take your yogic toe lock, peeling your chest open. And release, hold the leg, splay the knees open, 
rest here. Pushing the knees away as we shoot the hips back and down and the torso front contract. And inhale, release. One more time, contract. Last time, inhale, release. Exhale, contract to the right. Bend your left elbow and your right. Bring your ear down to your toe or in that direction. Come back to the center. Open your heart. Exhale, twist the other way. Right ear all the way down to your big toe. And good. Legs together. Slowly roll down. One vertebra at a time. Hold your thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. Rock from right to left. Each time dropping deeper, deeper down into the floor. Plant your feet down, knees over the ankles. Press your hands into the floor. Lift your pelvis. And as you exhale, imagine you're pulling your umbilical cord up and out of your crux, your center, and you're curling your upper body in. Inhale, expand two more times. There we go, exhale. Last time, inhale, expand. And exhale. And inhale, open. Just dropping the knees to the right. As you hug your left thigh into the chest, clasp your hands into yin, yin and yang and lift, lift. Both feet off the floor, flex. Draw your chest deeper into your thigh. Twist here and release. Twist your gaze over to the other side. Stretch your neck. Stretch your IT band. Stretch your hip. And come back to the center. Reground your feet and twist the other way. Right ankle to the knee. Drop. Hug your right knee in, lift your chest, clasp the hands like we did on the other side, lift your left foot off the floor and hold it here. Exhale deeper into your knee, flex both feet. And drop both feet. Stretch your gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe, inhale, and exhale, come back to the center. Pressing your hands into your groin, lift the pelvic floor up, and then exhale, rock it back down, inhale, gently lift it up, and exhale, rock. Open your spine from the mid-back. Keep the lower back long. Last time. Exhale, lift. And extend your legs out for Shavasana. If you feel your lower back is a little tender, keep your knees bent. Open your palms out to the sky. Close your eyes. Imagine you are floating on top of the ocean. The water is warm and the sun kisses your skin. You're carried by the flow. There's no resistance. You are no longer fighting upstream. 
but sailing effortlessly and letting the current take you where you need to be. There are no regrets, no useless energy, no effort. You're just opening to the wonder of that very moment and trusting that it is a moment to learn from your baby, to connect to its spirit, to tap its pure nature and marvel the whole process of growth. Let the love for your baby and its love back to you spark the healing power of the body to restore and replenish. Let the waves of the ocean ripple through you and wash away any emotional blockage or residue that has been lingering. Surrender to this free flow. Hold no past resentment. Make no expectations for the future. Be patient for the current to take you to the sand. And when you reach the sand and you connect to the ground, to the earth, melt into it. Feel the ripeness of the sand grains and let your body absorb all the light they have received from the sun. You are the sun for your baby. You are a conduit of light and love and you're transmitting its healing power into every aspect of your life, honoring the spirit of your baby and illuminating its path to growth and fulfillment. As you ripple with the water, the water takes you back into your innermost self. Receive it as you receive your breath. Exhale and anchor deeper into the earth with a sense of gratitude and awaken to this moment. As you take your last inhale, gently open your eyes, reach your right arm up over your head and your left arm, plant the hands into the floor into a V position and Lift your right arm slightly up and your left, press the hands away and roll up to sit. Slowly coming back to a seated position, hands anchoring down into your knees. Finding this moment right here and now as an opportunity to rebirth every cell of your being and to connect to the new you. Appreciating and treasuring every moment with the baby and finding that moment to go deeper into the mystery of motherhood. Bring your hands into the heart. Rejoice this opportunity and bow down in reverence to the Mother Divine.